Mathematics in Nature. In this lesson, we have three objectives. First one is to identify Fibonacci sequence in nature, determine the end term of a Fibonacci sequence, third is to use golden ratio and appreciating mathematics in human anatomy and in photography. Mathematics is all around us. The beauty of flowers, the majesty of a tree, even the rocks upon which we walk can exhibit nature's sense of symmetry. A simple example in which it is possible to find the mathematics in nature is given by the number of petals of flowers, like the lily, which has a one petal, euphorbia, which has two petals, tree loom, which has three petals, Buttercups, which has 5 petals, Blood Root, which has 8 petals, Black Eyed Susan, which has 13 petals, Daisy, which has 21 petals. The number patterns behind those numbers of petals, the arrangement of leaves on the stem, is called the Fibonacci sequence. The numbers 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, and so on. The sequence in which each number is the sum of two preceding numbers. So we have 1 plus 1 equals 2, 1 plus 2 equals 3, 2 plus 3 equals 5, 3 plus 5 equals 8, 5 plus 8 equals 13, 8 plus 13 is equal to 21. Fibonacci sequence is discovered by Leonardo Bigoglio Pisano, which is an Italian mathematician. Fibonacci discovered the sequence by posing the following question. If a pair of rabbits is placed in an enclosed area, how many rabbits will be born there? If we assume that every month, a pair of rabbits produces another pair, that rabbits begin to bear young two months after their birth. At the start, no rabbits are born, as the initial pair has not had time to be pregnant and born. The first month, one pair of rabbits is born. The second month, again, one pair of rabbits are born as the new rabbits are not yet matured to bear young. The third month, two pairs of rabbit reproduce and the pair is not ready. So two pairs of rabbits are born. The fourth month, three pairs of rabbits reproduce and two pairs of rabbits are not yet ready. So three pairs of rabbits are born. The fifth month, five pairs of rabbits produce and three are not ready. So five pairs of rabbits are born. Fibonacci also discovered the Hindu-Arabic systems of writing a number which is a replacement to Roman numeral system. To get the nth Fibonacci number, we have the formula f of n is equal to f of n minus 1 plus f of n minus 2, wherein f of n is equal to the Fibonacci number, f of n minus 1 is the previous term, f of n minus 2 is the term before f of n minus 1. Let's apply the formula to this example. We have find the 11th term of the Fibonacci sequence 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, 55, blank. We have the formula f sub n is equal to f sub n minus 1 plus f sub n minus 2. We just substitute n by 11. We just simplify. We have f11 is equal to f11 minus 1 which is equal to f sub 10 plus f11 minus 2 is equal to f sub 9. Then we find the value of the 10th term and the ninth term. So we have the 10th term which is 55 plus the ninth term which is 34. Then finally 
we just add them to get the 11th term of the Fibonacci sequence. It is your turn also. You need to find the 11th to 15th term of the Fibonacci sequence. Now, what is the 80th term of the Fibonacci sequence? It may take you an hour or more to find it. However, one may calculate the Fibonacci number using the golden ratio. The golden ratio is an special number which is approximately equal to 1.618034 and may be used to find the end term of the Fibonacci sequence using the Binet's formula. Binet's formula is equal to F sub N is equal to open parentheses 1 plus square root of 5 all over 2 close parentheses raised to N minus open parentheses 1 minus square root of 5 all over 2 close parentheses raised to N all over square root of 5. Let's try the Binet's formula in finding the 30th term of the Fibonacci sequence. What to do is to get a scientific calculator and input all the numbers. So in the numerator, we got 1,860,498 all over square root of 5 and the final answer is 832,000. 40. Now, on your own, try to find the following terms of the Fibonacci sequence. A, 35th term, B, 40th term, C, 47th term. Aside from the famous painting Mona Lisa, Leonardo da Vinci was also known for his Vitruvian Man, it was one of the most important works of the Italian Renaissance. According to Vitruvius 1492, the 15th century drawing was also known as the proportions of the human body. Let's have a short trivia. Did you know that we celebrated Fibonacci Day? It is celebrated on the 23rd of November because November 23 is represented as 1, 1, 2, 3. Thank you for watching. Hope you have learned a lot and enjoy. See you in our next discussion. Goodbye!